there is very disturbing news that we are just now receiving from Siaya County. Apparently, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County, Mr. William Oduol, after exposing all the corruption that has been taking place in that particular locale, especially touching on matters impressed, he has officially been expelled from ODM party. Here's the tip. It is clear that there are agents of instability and confusion are sent to distract the governor from delivering his agenda for the people of Siaya. This meeting, therefore, has unanimously resolved that the Siaya County uh, Deputy Governor be compelled to resign from his position as the DG uh, since he no longer subscribes to the ideals and aspirations of the party. The meeting has therefore resolved uh, that he be expelled and is hereby expelled uh, from the ODM party membership. Now in this video I want us to look into why Governor James Orengo has moved very quickly to ensure that William Oduol is removed from the position of Deputy Governor in Siaya County. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, and you're gonna be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now the first reason why Governor James Orengo and company have decided to expel Deputy Governor William Oduol is to prevent him from having access to any evidence. If you look at the withdrawals that they've been doing, some 40 million in December, 50 in January, and so on and so forth, this shows you that whatever these people are up to is not a one and done type of situation. This is something that they need every single month moving forward. And because William Oduol has shown that he cannot be trusted with all their previous transactions, they want to quickly move and remove him from the party remove him from his position so that as they continue to siphon well into the future in between now and 2027, there will be no condescending voice coming from that particular county. So the main reason of removing him is to ensure that nothing else leaks to the public. These smooth criminals want a watertight operation. And this just highlights the level of corruption in Siaya County. Because if you think about it, how can an entire deputy governor come out and expose all the filth and corruption that is taking place in that county? But then you find the MCAs do not care to investigate. The party delegates that are from Siaya County, they don't even want to investigate. In fact, they are the ones who are doing pressers about how they want this deputy governor to resign. His own boss, James Orengo, is also not pleased with him. He wants him to go home. Raila Odinga himself wants him to go home. And that just confirms what I've been saying all along. These funds which are being siphoned from the coffers of Siaya County are being utilized by several people. It's a well-oiled machine with a structure. Perhaps the party leader, the governor, the MCAs, the delegates. Because ask yourself, why are these people not interested in investigating any form of corruption? Instead, they want to punish the governor for coming out to say the truth. And by the way, this is going to be the norm in Siaya County for the next five years, up until 2027 on election day. And even after that, because even if Orengo loses, he'll stay in power a little bit longer before he hands over to the next governor. So they still have an opportunity to loot. The same way we saw the Uru Kenyatta administration on its way out, channeling money to the Cayman Islands and things like that. So Siaya County is in serious trouble. This is a county that is being led by tricksters who understand the law in and out. Those are the worst kind of people. You can almost never get them. And one can only wonder, where is the ESCC in all of this? I have not seen James Orengo summoned. I have not also seen the deputy governor summoned because he's the one who is bringing the allegations. He should be called to table whatever he has. Then the ESCC can look at those documents, see if there's something there, forward it to the DCI to do what he needs to do. I remember at one point, uh, Governor James Orengo said in the Senate that this government will eat its own children. And in his own county, they are eating their own children because that is money meant for the citizens of Siaya County. Those millions they are siphoning is meant for roads, is meant for level 5 hospitals, is meant for building and renovating schools, beautifying the city, but instead it's going to a few people's pockets to organize maandamano and to basically give themselves a nice retirement package while they're still active in politics. Now here are some interesting comments that Kenyans had to say about this on Twitter. Miguna Miguna said, To James Orengo, your deputy William Oduol has said that you withdrew 100 million Kenya shillings out of public funds in November 2022 and you have not explained what the money was used for. He has stated that your office withdraws 950 million 10 times each month as impressed. Explain. Abuga Makori EGH said the following, I don't come from Siaya. 
I respect Governor James Orengo and my ODM party. Kicking out William O'Dwell from the party and grounding him completely is not an option. I urge the party to retract this move. Just like O'Dwell, most deputy governors are working without portfolio due to lacuna in law. A fellow with an interesting name called Kenya's Tweep said, CIA Deputy Governor William O'Dwell expelled from ODM for noting huge and abnormal withdrawals from the county coffers. In ODM, you should be blind and dumb at all times or else. And then if you want to know this thing goes all the way up to the ODM leadership at the very top. Here is what the House Minority Leader Upio Wandai had to say about this saga. And I quote, It is my advice both in my official capacity and as bona fide voter in Siaya that Honorable Oduol should tender his resignation without further delay. I have been telling you people this <laughs> Siaya County is an enterprise. They are clearly a jack of all trades. They are withdrawing money under the guise of impressed and using it for several activities, Mandamano being one of them. But to that end, we are hoping to see justice for William O'Dwell. He should not be ousted, and even if they do so, he should just rush to a court. Getting a court order barring that kind of move is very easy. If Kawira Mwangaza could get it, yet she is someone who was impeached by all her MCAs, I don't think a deputy governor who is calling out corruption will have a harder time getting that same court order. But as usual guys, that's just my opinion. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.